All right, we're gonna start with the digestive system here above the diaphragm, and it will be on the oral cavity. And then we'll go down to the respiratory system and end at the uh, lungs and trachea. And then we'll look at digestive system as well and move on to the organs below the diaphragm as we touch into the digestive system beginning with the stomach. So let's do the digestive system above the diaphragm. So this is the part of the list that we're tackling right here in a drawing. First thing on your list is gingiva. And I'm gonna draw that in just a minute. I think the first thing we're gonna look at is the tongue because that's a great marker. You can always tell where you are when you're looking at the tongue. And so if you look at the tongue, and this is the base or underneath, or we could say this would be from the inferior view. All right, so pretend we're looking underneath the tongue and we can see that the tongue is attached to the mandible. So the tongue is attached to the mandible, the jaw. And the thing that's holding the tongue to the mandible is a piece of tissue that you have as well uh, on your tongue underneath when you look and you can see it pretty easily. It's called the lingual frenulum. Lingual frenulum. And you'll see the there are salivary ducts on either side of it. So the lingual frenulum is just a piece of tissue that connects the tongue to the floor of the, um, of the mouth. And another thing we can see on the tongue fairly easily on the fetal pig are these tufts that stick off the uh, furthermost or the most distal part of the tongue, the part that's sticking out of the mouth essentially. And these tufts are called papillae, very similar to the papillae that are on the tongue itself where you find the taste buds in between. All right, and we can describe the word gingiva, gingiva as being, let me go ahead and draw a space here. So we're again looking up into the pig's mouth with the mandible pulled away at the bottom. We would notice where little teeth were coming out perhaps, depending on the age. Uh, you'll definitely be able to feel them with your hands. And so the teeth are in between. Here's a tooth. The teeth are embedded in bone, of course, and the tissue that's covering this, this would be the maxillary, the tissue that's covering these alveolar processes is the, is the gingiva. Well, you might know it better as the gums, but we're gonna call it gingiva uh, from now on. There's a space between the skin that makes up the cheek. So this is the skin. There's a space here. It's a great place to stash gum, right? <laughs> so this space is called a vestibule, vestibule. A vestibule is up here, it's a potential space uh, that can be made wider if you stick something uh, between the skin and the gums, uh, between the bone. So we're saying the vestibule is a space that goes all the way around, I'm just not gonna draw it, just like the skin goes all the way around. All right, and that leads us to the esophagus. We're gonna draw that on another uh, instead of drawing.